I'm Nicole Majeski, Deputy Secretary for the Delaware Department of Transportation, and on behalf of Secretary Cohen, who apologizes for not being here today, we want to welcome you all to the DelDOT campus. Um, we are so happy that we were able to partner with one of our sister agencies in providing this uh, great health benefit to the greater Dover community. Um, I do want to thank the DelDOT staff, uh, our facilities team, and our employees for working with uh, the Department of Health and Social Services on pulling this off today. Um, we just thought, you know, our location was a great place uh, to hold this clinic. We end up uh, having over, you know, hundreds of daily visitors to our Division of Motor Vehicles, which is located on our, our uh, campus here. So we thought, you know, we've got great access right off of Bay Road. We've got Wally out there directing people in. So we thought this was a perfect location um, to hold the clinic. So we're very happy to have you all here today with us. And now it is uh, my pleasure to introduce and welcome up here for a few remarks, uh, Dr. Rattay, the Director of the Division of Public Health. Thank you so much, Nicole. Really, we want to thank Del Dot for your partnership. This is a, a tremendous activity for us. I just learned that we've already vaccinated 326 individuals through this event today, which is more actually than last year total with the full day. So it, it goes to show you how partnering uh, with, with a partner that's already seen vehicular traffic can, can make a big difference. Um, we also really want to thank Bay Health for your partnership and in, in uh, uh, bringing nursing staff to uh, help support our effort today. Uh, for those who are unaware, um, th these efforts for us in public health are certainly important to raise awareness about influenza and the importance of getting your flu shot, but it's also an opportunity for us to exercise and prepare for um, events that could happen in the future where we would have to do a large amount of vaccination all at one time and so this we call this a preparedness exercise and you might see people in different colored vests that that tells you what their role would be if they if we were actually dealing with a real event so I want to thank our wonderful public health staff Wayne Smith Tesha Quayle Rich Holiday and the southern the entire Southern Health Services team as well as our public health preparedness section and our Office of Health Risk and Communication for their work. It is a lot of a lot of work to put an event like this together. So thank you, public health team. So we do want to remind all Delawareans how important it is to get your annual flu shot. Flu is unpredictable and it can be deadly. Last year we had a very difficult flu season. We had over 4,500 documented or laboratory positive influenza cases. And unfortunately, we had 15 flu-related deaths here in Delaware. And although we have not officially started this year's flu season, we, we actually already have seen a couple of positives, which tell us, you know, it's time to be, to be on our toes and for people to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Every Delawarean over the age of six, six months, sorry, six months, every Delawarean over the age of six months needs to get their flu vaccine. And, um, you know, most people think, you know, people who are over age 65, people with chronic medical conditions, women who are pregnant, um, others who are considered at high risk would be those around infants. Um, are very important to get their flu shot, which of course is very important. But the reality is all of us are around people who are considered at high risk. And so it's important that we all get our flu shots, not just to protect our friends, our family members, our neighbors, but also none of us really want to be sick in bed for, for a week, right? Missing work, missing uh, fun family activities during the holiday. So we want to encourage everyone to get their flu shot as soon as possible. Flu vaccine is available in many, many places, whether it's supermarkets, pharmacies. You can go to www.flu.delaware.gov to find locations where you can get your flu vaccine. Get it sooner versus later, because it does take a couple weeks to build up the immunity in your system. The flu vaccine that's circulating this year 
Um, looks like it should be good coverage for what we're expecting to be out in the community. We don't always know if it's a perfect match. What you'll find here today is called the quadrivalent flu vaccine, which protects against the, floor, the four flu strains that we think are most likely to be circulating. You'll also see the, um, uh, a flu vaccine out there that protects against three flu strains. That's also fine, um, but most importantly, we really want to recommend that everybody get their flu vaccine as soon as possible. We also want to recommend that people do other precautions against influenza. So make sure, you know, now's time if you don't already have hand sanitizer, every convenient place, every time you see a sink, wash your hands with soap and water. If you're sick, please don't go to work, especially if you have a fever. And if you cough or sneeze, make sure you do it in your inner elbow or in a tissue, then, then clean your hands. And don't touch your eyes or your face. I know you all have heard these things, but um, flu is very contagious, but it is preventable if, if people follow, follow these approaches. So now it is my great honor to get to introduce the Secretary of the Department of Health and Social Services, Dr. Kara Odom Walker. Thanks, Dr. Rattay, and thanks to the good doctor for telling us about all of the challenges that we may have in preventing flu. And thank you to DelDot for hosting us in this beautiful location. The drones are overhead covering us. We have lots of people listening here. And we know that flu vaccines are important to prevent um, the ill effects of the virus. Some of you may have played the game of Monopoly, probably all of us have at one point. You know that great get out of jail free card? Well, that's what the flu vaccine to, is to many people. We want to, you to think about the flu shot as that stay healthy card that really keeps you at work, playing, doing the things you love out of the doctor's office. We know that getting the vaccination can reduce the severity and lots of people in my clinical encounters have said, well, doc, isn't this going to get me more sick? Aren't I going to really feel the effects? Well, the opportunity to prevent spreading this illness to others in your, in your collective co-worker communities or in your communities at large or even with family members is so important. It will help you uh, prevent spending money on unnecessary visits. And for those who get really sick when they get the flu virus, you can actually prevent deaths. You can prevent people from being hospitalized, showing up in the emergency room, and for little babies who really are uh, at increased risk, it can prevent them from needing additional hospital visits. Some of you know what it feels like to have the flu. You get the cough, the runny nose, but then you also get the fever and the nausea and the vomiting and chills, and you might be home for a week. And yes, we do have options to make it less severe, but it can be a dramatic illness for people who are most at risk. So it can be deadly. Let's not forget that 28 people died from the flu during the 2014 to 2015 season. And last year there were 15 deaths. We wanna prevent that. We wanna make sure that those who are most at risk from dying from flu are protected. Anyone who is over the age of six months and older should get vaccinated. And if you have little kids at home, it's even more important. So get your flu vaccine now before we start to see increasing numbers of cases. Uh, at this site today until 6 p.m., public health and Bay Health nurses are administering the flu vaccine. So come on by, we'll, they'll be here until 6 p.m. and they're administering flu vaccines free of charge to Delawareans ages nine and older. We're hoping to get over that 350 and we're so close. We just need a, a few more people to drive through. Last year we held this uh, drive flu clinic for the first time on the highway and they told us, patients told us, they really love the convenience. They love being able to just show up in their car and keep on moving. So this year we extended the hours from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for those going to work and coming home. It gives people a chance to get the kids from school and stop on by. So we're really looking forward to learning about how this works. And certainly, if we were to experience something that were a dramatic disaster, this is a preparedness exercise. Let's see how ready we are to take on bigger challenges where we can get uh, large numbers of mass vaccinations administered in this type of venue. It's so important. So roll up your sleeves, come on by, get your flu shot, any size vehicle, load up as many people as you want, 
and you're welcome. And we also have the accessibility for people who are coming by on foot. In a true emergency, we have to be ready to serve everyone, ready at the drop of a hat to, to administer vaccines in parking lots and other places. To overcome these communication barriers and in a public health emergency, we have American Sign Interpreters and staff who can speak other languages, including Spanish and Haitian Creole. So our staff are ready to help people uh, make sure that we're accommodating those with functional needs. And our flu, flu clinic today is a true example of public health. So we're excited about this. I'm looking forward to getting my flu shot here today. I'm looking forward to administering the flu shot to our wonderful Governor Carney. And so with that, I'm going to introduce him for being here and leading by example. Thank you, Governor. Thank you very much, <laughs> Dr. Walker and Dr. Rattay and Nicole and, and your team here at Dell Dot, uh, the Division of Public Health. Thank you for this partnership really important one as we try to get uh, more people vaccinated, uh, get their flu shots uh, today more than yet last year. Sounds like we've already passed that uh, threshold and it's a really easy way to do it. I remember back when I was Lieutenant Governor, we had a presentation about different public health emergencies uh, that uh, the division was planning for. And after it, uh, I asked one of Dr. Rattay's predecessors what her most the serious concern was what she feared the most. And what she told me was her greatest fear was a flu pandemic. We haven't had one in maybe a hundred years and she was saying we were due for one. It scared me pretty, uh, pretty hard and uh, I went and I looked at all the various plans uh, that were put in place in our, in our document for responding to a, a, a flu pandemic. And this exercise today is a two for it. it is an opportunity to get the word out to everybody to get their flu shots, but it's also an emergency response uh, exercise, a, a, an opportunity for us to practice, if you will, uh, getting uh, inoculations and uh, immunizations out to large numbers of people, and this is a great way to do it. I'm really a prop here today. <laughs> it's my jo job to roll up my sleeve and to put my arm out there for Dr. Walker to uh, administer the juice. You know, when I was lieutenant governor promoting the lieutenant governor's challenge all the time, getting regular physical activity was something that I did. Eating five servings of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis wasn't necessarily something I did all the time, but I could warm up to it. But when we were promoting, making sure that everybody across our state, as we were trying to attack colorectal cancer, to get their colonoscopy, that was a tough public health message where walking the talk was a little bit more difficult uh, than some of the other things. Today, this is an easy one. I'm prepared to roll up my sleeve, present it uh, in front uh, of Dr. Odom Walker so that she could vaccinate me or provide the, the flu shot. And I wanted to, again, encourage all Delawareans to go out, get your flu shot. Uh, you can get them at of various pharmacies at supermarkets, you can get them at Bell Dot, you can get them through your doctor, and you can get them from the Division of Public Health. And I think that uh, website was www.flu.delaware.gov. So if you need more information about it, please uh, go to the website, get it, that information, and let's everybody get our flu shot. It's not just for you, I think that's a really important message. It's not just to protect you from getting the flu, that's an important thing to make sure, but we're protecting all the people around us so that we don't communicate that flu to our loved ones, to vulnerable populations, infants and, and the elderly. If everybody gets a flu shot, then we're all going to be better off. So let's go get that shot. I know it was a rough budget year last year, but you know, <laughs> it's really rough. Nice. The department really had a hard time. I'm ready. All right. Ready? 
everybody. Nice work. All right. <laughs> you still got it.